Hey guys, what's happening? It's Ninja Domo Esquire for St. Jane Media, and today I'm reviewing um, one of the new Voltron Legendary Defender toys uh, by the uh, Netflix DreamWorks show, um, and this is the Legendary Black Lion. Um, I believe he costs 40 bucks. Um, it says 50 plus phrases and sound effects, but um, I believe... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't mind it, don't get me wrong, it sounds like I'm mad, but um, really what it's saying is unlock 50 plus phrases and sound effects. So, I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, here's the box, I mean, I've already opened the product. Um, they are really big on pitching the fact that you can form a huge Voltron um, from this toy. This is the most expensive one, he's kind of the the... the uh, as you can see, the um, the torso, the base, so to speak, um, where everything connects into. Uh, it's the Black Lion. Um, gives you a little uh, description. Leader of Voltron. Black Lion's incredible power is known throughout the universe. Uh, gives you, you know, just a little tagline about um, Voltron. And then down here... Includes speeder with pilot Shiro. So there you go. I gotta say I'll show you guys him in a minute um, Or when I get to the actual lion, but I was a little bummed about him um, Overall, I think the packaging is great. I mean, it's a huge cumbersome box um, You know, it has a try me um, effect. I think for the most part it explains pretty well what it is um, that you're potentially getting. They call it sort of the legendary series to separate from the um, $10 toys. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then at every turn, they're telling you to essentially buy the rest. Um, and it shows the phrases he has and everything. But I think it's colorful, fun. Um, yeah, just a, a good, good toy. Uh, this, or a box I should say. Um, this is like a little, what is this? I think it's just promotion for buying more of their figures. So yeah, um, you've got the basic action figures, which are these, like right here. Um, I guess technically that's a basic figure as well, or this one is, I don't know. Um, and they do not connect with, um, with Voltron and thankfully Playmates is very good about saying um, on the box that you know this this toy does not connect um, then there's the ultimate version of uh, Voltron you could just buy him um, and frankly it'd be cheaper but you know you don't have all the pieces that connect and um, he has 15 phrases and sound effects um, a lot of posability um, but he is essentially just a giant figure. Uh, on the back, though, you have, you can get your Defender gear, which is, I don't know, whatever. It's kind of fun. Um, it, this kid's going places, I think. Um, and then, you know, it has the, uh, the different lines that form the 16-inch Voltron. And then when you combine them, apparently it makes over 50-plus sound effects and phrases, which is crazy. That's really wild. Here is the, the toy. Here's the, the lion, the black lion. Um, it's, oh, there we go. Sound effect. It's made of really sturdy plastic. In fact, the joints are very stiff. So that's good because it shows, you know, it's kind of, it, I mean, it has some heft to it for sure, but it also shows that, uh, you know, the 16-inch Voltron won't be flimsy, um, which is awesome. Apparently this says 24 points of articulation. I have not tested every one of them out. The tail moves. These move down or up, you know, depending. These legs twist, and then the claws themselves move as well. Um, the mouth moves for that just a little bit. The head does not move. I don't believe the head turns as far as I can tell. Um, I could be wrong, but um, I don't want to push it, to be quite honest. Um, but you can see just sort of the size of this thing. Um, it's 
pretty big and it's pretty cool. These are the parts where the other figures will connect. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I, I think it looks good. It's true to the cartoon series. Um, I've got a lot of light on here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this has kind of like a metallic paint to it. This blue is nice. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty deep, like red lion red um, for this thing. Um, and then there's a button on the side right here. If you can see where my one finger's pointing. So that lights up. Sadly, nothing else about the figure lights up. It's fine. Um, here's an on-off switch and also an easy um, access point for batteries, which is cool. Um, the one thing I was disappointed about the rider is, oh geez, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, here we go. So he comes in, so that's it. There he is. Um, you know, I feel like it's a bit of a far cry from, I mean, it doesn't even look like, yeah, I feel like it doesn't look like anything when you go back to this and it says, you know, includes the pilot. I just, you know, for the line being so big and for the 16 inch Voltron being um, as large as it is, I just expect it to be. Um, a bit more, I don't know, just anything. I feel like that's kind of dinky. Um, but I do appreciate how that compartment opens up. His little speeder just sort of slides right in there. And then it clips shut. Um, so there you go. I'm not going to transform it today. Um, and quite frankly, I'm terrible at transforming things. Um, so uh, that's going to be my review. But hopefully I'll be getting all of these and this is what they'll form and I'll do a final review of that. I don't know if I'll do of each lion to be quite honest. Um, but it looks pretty promising and pretty cool and um, I think it's going to give the uh, Power Rangers toys that have already come out slash are hitting the shelves um, a run for their money. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Go check out St. Jane Media. Um, Check out Ninja Doma Esquire on Twitter, um, Instagram. Also look for Phil the Pill. Um, Happy New Year, guys. I know we're kind of in the uh, January 9th <laughs> of, of the year. Uh, but, you know, hopefully it's brought you success so far. Thank you for tuning in. Please share, like, um, comment, whatever. I hope you guys like it. I appreciate all your support. Thanks. Bye.